and welcome to the second class in our Make Better Medicine series. We started out with solubility and extraction, and this class is extraordinary elixirs. So we're going to be looking at a really interesting form of herbal medicine that uses honey, herbal infused honey, along with a variety of tinctures together. So we'll review the principles of solubility and extraction that specifically apply to making elixirs so that we can get a really potent, consistent product and ends up being the right ethanol percentage. So we'll also talk about the healing powers of honey, the chemistry of honey, how it acts as an extraction fluid, and also some of the other things it does, like antimicrobial powers. And we will give respect to the bees for this wonderful healing fluid that they've made. And then we'll move into how to make herbal infused honeys, which is one of the ingredients in the elixir. So how to make a really good honey infusion without damaging the honey, using the right temperature, the right concentrations, we'll get a really good representation of the honey soluble constituents that the herbs will use in our elixirs. And then we'll look a little bit about what an elixir is, how the historical elixirs were used and formulated, and how we kind of evolved that using a little bit of herbal chemistry and modern herbal practice. And then that'll be our background. And then we'll talk about elixir pharmacy in particular, what you need to know to make a good consistent elixir. So we have worksheets and some simple calculations that you can figure out how to use different tinctures with different ethanol percentages, right? And end up with the right final ethanol percentage so that your elixir doesn't ferment. So, um, and also so that you know exactly what's in there. So we'll look at the different steps you need to do and calculations that go with that. And we have worksheets to simplify that part so it's not, it's not too overwhelmingly mathy. And then after we get our project set up and laid out, we'll actually go through the procedures of making an elixir, like what you need to do step by step and how you need to um, even emulsify it with a blender so that it doesn't separate eventually, which a lot of elixirs will do if you don't do that step. So we'll go through everything, all the equipment you need, all the steps you need to do in order, we'll walk you through that. And then after we get the process down, we'll do some formulation. Right, so how to do, um, how to choose your Materia Medica that's compatible with the Elixir format, right? And also um, the Materia Medica that work really well. So we'll look at some Materia Medica for upper respiratory um, and we'll formulate an Elixir specifically for that and for lower respiratory, so the two separate Elixirs. And then we'll also look at making a bitters formula in the form of an Elixir so that it's a little more easy to take, right? So all of that is coming up. We hope you really enjoy this class. And as always, if you have questions or comments, we also have a forum that you can participate in, which we look at every day. So let's get started. Extraordinary Elixirs.